Oh man, Starch, this has been such a great night. I swear I've eaten your weight in candy! That's... a needlessly sinister way of saying that. Oh, by the way, love your costume. Thanks. By the way, why are you dressed... Oh! Oh, hang on, Starch. Someone's at the monitor. What? Hello, good sirs. Tis a fine house he is it not? Oh, isn't he cute? Go on, say it. Drink or defeat! <laughs> I must have some candy left somewhere. Um. Oh, oh. Middlesome fools. Soon you shall feel my wrath. Jim, come on. Give him some candy. Please don't tell me that you ate it all. Bones, I'm not here for candy! Uh, Starch, uh, you have any candy left? Nope. No candy. I've got Necco wafers, though. Though the last kids I gave those to Egg Trent's car... This has nothing to do with candy! Then they set it on fire. It is I, your greatest enemy! No, it can't be! Mr. Grunkleshire died in the Great Beanbag Piccadillo of 93! What? No! Mom? Wow. I mean, it, wow. I don't even want to know. Look, I'm here on a quest for revenge! Greg Ferguson? Oh, oh man. I knew that trip was gonna haunt me. No! I'm here to avenge my fallen comrade and fellow puppet, Pinocchio 3000! Fellow puppet? You're Hayden Christensen! No! Look, look, look stop! And Colter? Uh, I'm trying to threaten you both with deep psychological Red, pain here brown. by forcing Betty White, White the, 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 the ghost of Eleanor Roosevelt, and you two are really ruining the mood! William Howard Harrison! Shut up! Mrs. Grunkleshire? Ha ha! Look, it's me! I'm Torchy, you simpletons! Torchy! Torchy who? Torchy! Torchy! The little battery boy! Hmm... Let's ring you a faint bell. Oh, for f**k's sake, just watch the film. I did find some ossified candy corn for you, if you'd like. Yes, nothing says Halloween like Impact Sans Serif. Huh, does he have a PhD in trick-or-treating? Uh, TPing houses, actually. TP-PhD? I have pills for that! It is night. It is huh. Halloween makes noise. But there is a tap at the window. Hell of a card talk. No one there. Again, at the other window. Will they just run towards any random noise? The taps are coming from no outside the house! There, Get in it? there! Surprise, surprise! It is Father... Ah, uh, in this house, Indian Father coming home is a surprise! Everything we need Ooh. for Halloween decoration. Julie wants to know what the straw is for. To cover the roses with... And Mr. and Mrs. Rose from next door, who went on vacation last week. The ready to make the jack o lantern Peter has finished his cat mask, and Julie brings paper to keep the table clean. Was this made and in the Great Depression? No, uh, it was together. just the 50s. Well, it's making me depressed. Uh-oh, what is Peter up to? Fighting the Phantom of the Park? He is trying to scare Shep with his cat mask. Kids, don't make your mask out of used butcher paper! And Shep doesn't like to be teased. I'm sure Peter wouldn't like someone to tease him. Or to have something else they did to Shep done to him. Snip, Father snip. Has a Ouch. Out and is working on the face. Shep wants to know what this is all about. Well, Shep, today we celebrate and Dagda's yeah, victory over the Fomorians and his hey, getting it on no with Morrigan beforehand. A very sad, sorry, spooky-looking jack-o'-lantern. That pumpkin will need years of therapy. Ugh. Dad's made out of stucco! Hey, Sis has a Jonas Brothers ring. Ah, Conan O'Brien! Now comes the best part. Everyone goes to turn out a light. Light turning outing is strictly regimented in this household. <sighs> Guess I can leave my scotch in here. <sighs> now. Yeah, they should let the mothership know I'm ready for ascension. There it is. 
Captain Shep does not like the jack-o'-lantern with the lighted candle in it. The face reminds him of the man who shot his paw. Oh! What? What? Lights on. Everybody laughs at Shep. But Shep will have the last no, laugh. Oh, now. yes, he Tomorrow will. Halloween. I suppose let's get to the lovemaking. But for Shep, the scary part of Halloween has already begun. All night he watches a sad, sorry, spooky jack-o'-lantern. It conjures fears of his looming mortality. He's nearly seven, yet has he truly lived? The next day is a dull one for Shep. Not a crush to sniff in sight. to bring Julie and Peter home for lunch, and father is at work. And the jack-o'-lantern is not scary in the daytime. Especially compared to the Rachel Ray show. <laughs> but there is Peter's cat. She was gonna say Carol Channing mask. Peter Shep with that. You know, they have a bad reputation, but you have to train a German and Shepherd so to be Shep passive aggressive. Scary mask apart. There's the outside door. Don't let it hit you or the good lord split you. Peter is left of it. And there's no time to make a new one because a costume parade is right after lunch. Oh, that grocery bag mask took me six years. But Mother is sure there is some way to get Peter a new costume. Skin ship and now where his pelt? There's a needle and thread. Oh, Shep, you're such a bad dog. Now Peter won't have a chance to win the prize for the best costume. Wait, he had one before? Yeah, they just give him that Comic Sans you tried Gold Star every year. He can't tell Mother the difference. Oh, uh, makes sense. Peter, get the rag bag. Julie, run upstairs and get my makeup box. The announcer's makeup box? Now the Mexican hat. Everybody loves the Mexican hat. Quickly now, only half an hour left. A long length of colored cloth. Ah, uh, Mom's and trying now. way too hard. And last, the straw hat. We'll comb the dead aphids out later. A lady scarecrow. Lady scarecrow would be a feature of Peter's drag show for years. What a Costume They're in a prison yard. Any child caught using candy cigarettes as currency will spend one day in the box. A cat and a clown. Every different kind Ugh. of Oh, oh no. Lady Scarecrow is the best. It is so funny and so different. And the least racist. The first prize for Peter is a box of balloons. With the feather like and touch. Peter calls all the other children to share his prize. Balloons for everyone. Everyone blows up a balloon. Peter's black balloon makes him fly. And then... Ah! Uh, anybody want to grab that dog? Damn it, this film costs money. Keep rolling. But he's gone berserk! We don't stop happy rolling unless I see blood, damn it! Win. Peter is very happy. Yes, Halloween is fun. Don't let the tears fool you. So, uh, when do we get to see the Halloween party? <laughs> ah. Now, how do you like those razor-bladed apples? Kitty as saps, reap what you have sown! Eh, at least it was short. What? And I have all new ideas for costumes. Paper bag drag cat will be a hit with all the ironic hipsters. Eh, provided I have enough dog repellent to make it through the night. You, you're not in pain? Despairing? Slightly annoyed? Uh, no. Why would we be? But... but... I just made you watch a bad short film, and... Uh, overall, I'd say it was, uh... 4.6 on the pain scale. Good first effort, the disconcerting disembodied voice is always a nice touch, and the casual racism was a solid punch in the gut. But brevity and a lack of heavy-handed conformity message forced me to take a few extra points off. Torchy, come on. We know you're trying, and we do appreciate it, but you have to remember, we willingly inflict worse on ourselves. Do you realize what we grew up with? The top kids' TV show on Rangoon through the early 2000s was Clutch Cargo. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. I, I had no idea. I, I see what I'm up against here. Well, can, can I at least maybe steal some of your candy or something? Uh, oh, sorry. 
all out. Oh, let me check. Yeah, I, I've got some licorice crows here, and some aloe wafers. Okay, you know what? Forget it. If you consider that candy, then I can't do anything to make your lives worse than they already are. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to have wasted your time. I just... I just need to go and think my life over. Uh, did... did we win? I... have no idea. Pipples, if you liked our nonsense, want to give us a like, or a subscribe, or leave a comment down there somewhere. You can also do us a big solid by joining our Patreon, where you'll get to join us for live streams, get early access to the newest videos, and other such things. Geek Vision.